Hello and welcome. Today we will illustrate how to utilize the innovative task feature of the Aditel ADT760 pressure calibrator to document and calibrate a differential pressure transmitter. To get started, we will need our ADT760, of course, along with some clear tubing, a set of leads and alligator clips, and our device under test. We will begin by attaching the output port of the ADT760 to the high side of the transmitter using our clear tubing. Our next step will be to attach the reference port of the ADT760 to the low side of the transmitter as shown. Next, we will need to attach the electrical connections, the negative and positive of the ADT760 going to the negative and positive of our transmitter under test. Now that we have everything attached as needed, we can start some testing. For this test, we'll want to make sure the 24 volt power supply is functioning. To do this, click on Menu, and then Setup. Toggle on the 24 volt power supply. Click OK and then return to the main menu. You should note the 24 volt green indicator at the top of the screen. Next, we'll want to run a quick test to make sure everything is functioning properly. We'll pick a set point halfway between our upper and lower limits of our transmitter. In this case, 1.5 inches of water. We'll allow the Aditel ADT760 to take control of the pressure and closely note the milliamp reading in the box at the top. It should end up somewhere halfway between 4 and 20 milliamps in this case. It looks like it's going to settle right around about 12 milliamps, which is a good indicator that things are functioning properly. Now we're ready to move on with our calibration. We will perform our test across three points, 0, 1.5, and 3 inches of water. Our first step at setting up the test is clicking on the main menu button in the upper right corner and then selecting task. From the task menu, we can either select an existing task or create a new task by pressing the plus button. Here we'll create a new task. For this new task, we're going to pick pressure transmitter because we are calibrating a pressure transmitter today. From this menu, we can add a number of things identifying this particular test, such as a name, the serial number of our transmitter, a location, and so on. You'll also note some information about the transmitter, such as input, output, and accuracy near the bottom of the screen. When the task information is complete, select the check mark icon at the top right. This will return the calibrator to a list of stored tasks. You may recall that we called our test, Test 2, so we'll select Test 2 from the list. We'll see a brief summary of the test we're about to start. We initiate the testing process by clicking the play button in the upper right corner. From the run information screen, we can select the number of set points we'd like to collect data for, as well as a few other test parameters, such as the stroke and dwell time. The number of calibration points and their values can easily be adjusted by clicking on the set points and using the up and down arrows to increase and decrease the number of calibration points across the range of the calibration. Note how the ADT760 auto adjusts the set points as you add and subtract calibration points. We can also change a single calibration point by selecting the cal point of interest and inputting a new value, such as 1.75 inches of water. Once the calibration points are configured the way we want them, select the check mark icon in the upper right corner. From this screen, we have the option of zeroing the pressure. To do so, click the icon in the lower left corner and then click Pressure Zero. This will zero out the reference pressure for our calibration going forward. Shown in real time here, it only takes a few moments for the process to complete. Once done, click OK. Next, we have the option of either selecting a manual or automated cal. In this case, we'll select the automated cal in the lower right corner. The test will begin promptly. Once the automated calibration has started, the ADT760 calibrator will graphically display the process and percent error values. 
The ADT 760 will indicate that the requested stability limit has been met at each point as the pressure reference reading turns green on the screen. The user will also have an option of turning on an audible beep when stability requirements have been met. The blue line indicates the data points on the way up, while the orange line reflects the data points on the way down. This helps to visualize hysteresis and linearity of your device under test. During and after the test, the user can choose to see a table view or a graphical view of the data by toggling the icon in the lower left corner of the screen. This is a great feature to help you understand what's going on with the test while in process. Once you've reviewed the data, click the Save icon at the bottom right of the screen. Assign an operator, date, and environmental conditions if you'd like. Then decide if you'd like to save the data as As Found, As Left, or Both. In this case, we'll choose Both. Click the checkmark icon in the upper right corner to return to the task window. Once the calibration is complete, the user can easily download the test data. We'll show you how to do that next. Simply attach the ADT760 to your computer via USB or through the wireless option, and then click on the Atatel Land app. Once Land is launched, simply click the Scan button. The Land software will go out and look for any instruments that it can find. In this case, we can see our ADT760 at the top of the list. After selecting the 760, we'll click on the Refresh button. From the Query dialog box, we'll want to make sure that the Pressure Transmitter option is selected, and then click OK. From here, we should be presented with a list on the left. You'll note our As Found and As Left data. We will export all the data by clicking the Export All button in the upper right corner, and then Export to Excel. I'll choose to have the data sent to my desktop. From there, the desktop will open up, and I'll be able to select the As Found data. You'll note that all the data and information about the calibration is present. The user can then easily customize the report by adding an image to the upper left-hand corner, along with any other personal touches you'd like to add. We hope that you've found this video to be helpful and informative. Please visit us at www.adatel.com.